Hello YouTube, this is Captain Darren and my amateur radio call sign is N4VFR. In my previous video, I showed you the DX Commander and we installed the 80 meters inverted L. Now in this video, part two, I will show you the results utilizing the ICOM 7610 and you will see the SWR readings on various bands. Stay tuned. Okay, I'm going to show you the SWRs throughout the band. This here, we're on 80 meters at the center of the band, 3.950. And you notice that the antenna tuner is turned off. I'm going to transmit now. 100 watts, SWR is like a 1.2. 1.3 right here now we're going to check at the uh, lower of the uh, side band at 3650 SWR is high it's reading about 3 greater than 3 but we can utilize the antenna tuner to tune bring SWRs down to 1.2 near the upper portion of the 80 meter band on 3950 SWR is about 1.3 now we're on 40 meters at the middle of the band 7.150 no antenna tuner SWR is about 2.4 so I'm going to need a tuner on 40 meters. That's something I need to troubleshoot this when I come back to Florida. Remeasure it and uh, find out why I got high SWRs on 40. Now here's with the tuner. And SWRs one to one. The lower portion of the 40 meter sideband 7.140 no antenna tuner again high SWR so I will need to use the built-in antenna tuner and gives me one to one now near the upper portion of the 40 meter sideband no antenna tuner and SWR is about 1.7. Again, I can utilize the tuner, the built-in antenna tuner, to bring down the SWRs. We're on 20 meters now, 14175. Antenna tuner is turned off. The SWR is right here. About 1.3. In the CW portion of the band, 14025 SWR is 1.1 Now let's take a look at the upper portion of the band somewhere around 14300 We'll use that 14300 SWR is high, about 2.2, something like that, right here. Again, I would have to use the antenna tuner to get a perfect match. 17 meters at the middle of the band, no antenna tuner. SWR is about 1.2. Right here. 
and we'll go down to the CW portion um, 18 somewhere of like 1880 or something right around here about 1.3 and let's go to the upper band about 18 100 1.2 so it's very good 17 meters 15 meters we're at the middle of the band 21.225 no antenna tuner SWR is barely moving let's go to the CW portion roughly around 21 uh, 100 It's 1.1. And let's check the upper portion of the band, somewhere around 21,400. No antenna tuner, about 1.2. Okay, 12 meters, 24,940. No antenna tuner, we're in the middle of the band. SW is about 1.2. And let's go down to the CW portion, around 24,900. There. SW is flat and the upper portion for the sideband around 24,900 uh, 980 we can try that 24,980 so we're on there about 1.5 again this is no antenna tuner this is 10 meters, 28,850, the middle of the band, no antenna tuner, SWR is about 2.3. So it's pretty, pretty broadband, so I need to have a antenna tuner. That's the built-in antenna tuner. The antenna tuner now light is on. SWR one to one. So let's go down to the 10 meters down at the uh, lower end of the uh, sideband, somewhere like 28, 350. Okay. No antenna tuner in use. SWR is 1.7. So the built in antenna tuner will tune it. And here we go. SWR is perfect. Let's check the upper portion around 29,650. This is the upper portion of the band. Again, side band. I'm sorry. It's we're using ready mode. And the antenna tuner is turned off. SWR is almost to infinity. So let's see if the antenna tuner will tune in the upper portion of the 10 meter band. Negative. It will not tune. I don't have a steady light. So 10 meters, uh, unusable at the upper portion. So let's go down and see where um, 28,400 or let's try 29,0. 
there's 29.0 megahertz no antenna tuner one uh, correction 2.8 SWR let's see if the antenna tuner will tune The antenna light is on. It found a tune, a match. SWR is about 1.1. So here yeah, I can use 10 meters, but the upper limits, like the the upper of the band, like 29,700, around that range and lower, it's going to be uh, unable to tune. So I just wanted to show you guys. Um, we, we put up the DX Commander and uh, show you all the bands using the built-in antenna tuner. I am not using the LDG uh, external antenna tuner. So I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, uh, just giving out a plug out to the DX Commander fan dipole and it works. So, kudos to Callum. Well guys, I hope you uh, enjoyed my video and you saw the results of using the DX Commander fan dipole. My name is Captain Darren. My amateur radio call sign is N4VFR. Oh and hey, if you haven't joined my channel, please consider to subscribe to my channel. Leave me a comment, give me a thumbs up like. It really helps me out with all the, the YouTube algorithms. Thanks for watching. Until next time, 73s.